Okay, good day guys, good day to you all. Welcome back to the Formula Sports channel. Thanks for being here. Um, this one is a quick one today guys. I'm, I'm not spending long. It's not a long video. Um, I, I stumbled across an article with uh, uh, Mr. Rudolph Speed. And you guys know who Rudolph Speed is. And he said something in the article that, that caught my attention and was a bit surprising to me. I'll read out I'll read out the part that caught my attention. It was a it was a interview on, on some issues, but he said something in the interview that caught my attention. In March, when Jamaica played the United States, they were forced to pick new players because they there were contractual problems with some key reggae boys. These new players have now become important members of the squad. Now I don't know if this article is quoting him word for word or they are paraphrasing but my thing is that you know if, if this is really what mr speed said which this is what the newspaper is reporting that he said it it it, it would be really surprising to me right does the jff have a clear plan as to what they are doing going forward or are they making this stuff up as they go along right because my thing is he said they were forced to pick new players. So what this tells me is that they had no intention of bringing in the likes of Ethan Pinnock. No intention of bringing in the likes of Casey Palmer. Jamal Lowe and Mary Bell. So yeah, yeah, I, I mean I don't know if I'm reading too much into this. But this is what it tells me. Right when they said they were forced to pick new players. Because there were contractual problems. Or are, is it that is it a case that we would not have seen these players so early? We would have seen them for the Gold Cup or the World Cup qualifiers, which wouldn't make any sense either, because you know to 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 get a a lot of new players and throw them into the into the mix, you know, you know at the beginning of the tournament for a tournament, no games together, no nothing, no preparation for these major tournaments. You really have to wonder, you know, one did the, the hierarchy really and truly intend to have these players or to bring these players into the mix like a, a Pinnock or a Low or a Bell or a, you know, Palmer. Right? Did they intend to bring in these players? Because, you know, if they didn't, then that would be sad. It would be sad. And what I, that is exactly what I get from reading this. I, you know, you guys can let me know if you think I'm reading too much into it. But that's what I get from it. And it really just kind of... It, it surprised me a bit when I came across it. That's why I'm doing this video. Because, you know, this don't make any sense. It seems to me as if the, the hierarchy is just making this stuff up as they go along. No clear plan. No clear vision. No clear uh, method of integration. You know, oh, we don't have any players for this upcoming friendly against the US. Let us run, go to England and see if we can get some, some of these new players. Right? If, if, if the likes of Pinnock were approached from before, I mean, I, I know that some of the players have now gotten their, their passports, but some of them still, you know, have not gotten their documents as, as yet and are looking doubtful. Right, I, 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 I don't really blame them for Antonio if Antonio doesn't make it. To be honest with you, I don't really blame them for that. Right, I know Gray has been working on his documents for a while, but it was a last minute rush apparently to get some of these players' documents in. Thank God it, it happened. You know, thank God it, it happened. But even, um, I think it's Casey Palmer. I don't think Palmer has gotten his documents as yet. Right, will he make it in time for the Gold Cup? Who knows? We'll just have to wait and see. But but you know, the, it just it it really caught my attention when Speed said this. You know, sometimes you're saying some things and you don't even realize, you know, what you're saying in terms of you don't even realize what you are implying, or you know that what you're saying people are reading between the lines and realizing that. 
you know, realizing something else, coming to a conclusion, you know, separate from what you were you were speaking on. But so it just really surprised me. In March, when Jamaica played the United States, they were forced to pick new players because there were contractual problems with some key reggae boys. And my thing is that when you look at the likes of a Pinnock, Bell, Palmer, right, Low, I'm a fan of Low, man, Low is a baller, right? These players clearly add something to the national program. They, they clearly add quality to the national program. They, they clearly add value to the national program. Right, so how could it be a case? It, it could never really and truly be a case that the hierarchy didn't intend to bring these players in. It could never be a case, right? I know that Liam Moore was working on his documents for a long time, also Andre Gray. I'm not so sure if they were working, if they were doing it independently or through the JFF. I'm not so sure, right? I, I'm not so sure about... um roof either whether he was doing it independently or not if i'm not mistaken i think those three players were were going through the jff but don't quote me on that right but as i know that the likes of pinnock and palmer and bell and low right these players are 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 you know just recently you know came on board i mean before before the u.s game you know, their names were, were being mentioned, but that's all that was taking place. We didn't hear of any official link being made. And then all of a sudden, they were just brought up out of nowhere. I know many people were surprised when we saw them included in the, in the U.S. game. Pleasantly surprised. So my thing is, what is the plan? Right? What is the vision? What is the, the method of integration for these players? How, how does the, the JFF go about you know, getting these players in, identifying these players, bringing them in, right? There are players out there now that want to play that we know that can add value to the program, like a Johnson Clark Harris, right? We don't hear anything on him. We don't know what is taking place. So, you know, I don't know. I just thought it was very interesting and just thought I would, I would share my thoughts with you guys on that, you know? Does the JFF have a, a clear plan going forward? Or are they just making this stuff up as they go along? And so the thing is, after some of the performances, they can't. They have to to continue moving forward with these players. They just have to because it would look foolish to exclude these players after some of the performances that we have seen from these players, right? So they just have to bring them on board. You know, is it the coach not, you know, um, making it clear that or, or not being interested in these players and then after seeing them, he's saying, you know what, these players can add value. I don't know, man, I don't know, but we just, we just, we, we need to have a clear plan in place, right? Um, every, every, every American football fan knew that the U.S. men's national team was chasing or the US Federation was chasing Eunice Musa for a while. Right? The, 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 there seems to be a clear path going forward with some federations that I'm seeing. Right? But I don't see that clear path going forward with us. So I don't know, man. Let's let's see how this thing turns out. Let's see how this thing pans out. So guys, that's my two cents. Take care. Stay safe and until next time.